Okay, we're going over Ben Bruno's top four favorite landmine exercises. Uh, we've gone over the single leg RDL, we've gone over the reverse lunge, and we've gone over the squat. And now to finish off, the fourth video is going to be the deadlift. He's going to show you two different ways to utilize the landmine with the deadlift. Okay, I want to go over two ways to use the landmine to deadlift. The first is actually very similar to a kettlebell sumo deadlift, where you hold the kettlebell between your legs. Only here, you're going to use the landmine in a similar fashion to take advantage of the arc of the bar with a slight path backwards to create more of a posterior weight shift and put more stress in the glutes. So you're going to stand up with a stance slightly wider than shoulder width. Interlock your fingers like this to help with grip strength. Chest up. Grab right underneath the bar, come up, and then set up with the bar right in front of your body. From there, you're going to basically do like you would do with a kettlebell deadlift. Back, posterior weight shift, and forward. So there's a slight knee bend, and the hips hinge back. The second variation is a landmine Romanian deadlift. Exact same starting position, so I won't go over that. Only difference here is that there's little to no knee flexion. I like to tell people that the legs are straight but not locked. So there, all you're going to do is tell people to keep their chest up and look straight back. So interlock your fingers, bar right here, here, here. You're going to feel a big stretch in your neck. Here. Some people will go all the way to the floor. Some people will just go up to the knee or even slightly above and I'm fine with either way. The main thing here is that you keep a nice, neutral lower back, hips back, you feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings, come through and squeeze your glutes at the top. So those are the two ways to use the landmine to deadlift.